Hey guys, for today's video, me and my grandpa and grandmother are going to show you how to uh, dry and fold and store a flag. So it's important that when you have taken the flag down from the pole, uh, that you get it entirely dry before you start folding it. Otherwise, you might end up uh, with mold on your flag. Uh, usually he hangs it up over here on the garage's uh, gate. It's a nice place to hang it out. One thing to note is we're now in Norway and it's the middle of winter. So of course it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take a lot of time to dry the flag. It's been raining and snowing a lot. So actually this flag uh, will probably be hanging for about, ah, I think it's exactly a week since he hung it up for my uncle's birthday uh, to dry. Of course, if you're somewhere hot or you're somewhere where there hasn't been raining, you may get away with not hanging it, but just be aware that you will very much damage your flag if you don't uh, dry it entirely. So now my grandfather has hung up the flag. Uh, as you can see, he hung it, he pretty much split it down the middle here with half on each side. So it gets some nice airflow here. Keep it away from any damp or area that can get rain on it. If you didn't know, this is what a Norwegian flag looks like. All right, so once it's dry, let's uh, take it in and we'll get to folding this thing. All right. Okay. All right, so now we're inside here with my grandmother and my grandfather again. So they're gonna show you how we fold up the flag. So they've already uh, split the flag in half here and they're holding it at each of the corners, as you can see. And from here, we're going to fold the flag over in half, as you can see. So the flag is entirely dry here now. And uh, once you fold it over in half here, we're going to fold it over one more time. You want to make sure that the edges line up uh, pretty evenly as we fold it over one more time. And if you have a smaller flag, obviously you can skip this last fold. But for these big flags, you will need to do that. All right. So now we're done with a two-person job. And uh, my grandfather will show you how to fold it into triangles. Again, just make sure that it's even going up the entire length of the flag here. So if you watched my um, video on how to fold uh, plastic bags, it's a little bit similar in that we're gonna fold it into triangles as we move up the flag here. And once you made it to the top here, we're going to take uh, the rope from the flag and we're gonna fold it over to secure the flag in place. And this particular flag has uh, flag hooks on it. Yep. So we're just gonna connect the flags, uh, ropes together by using the hook like that. And now we have the flag nice and folded. And the next step is that we're gonna take it uh, and store it. So we need to store it somewhere that's um, not too uh, damp. It needs to be dry. In the next video, I will be show me and my grandfather and grandmother will be showing you Yes, <laughs> we'll be showing you how to hang the flag outside. <laughs>